still on uh, Workers' Day celebrations now. International Workers' Day was first marked in 1886 when workers stood up and demanded eight hours of work, eight hours for recreation and eight hours for rest. And this is the 36th year that South Africa is commemorating Workers' Day. Trade Union Federation SAFTU will be holding a May Day rally in Libohomo and Limpopo. SAFTU is focusing on issues regarding the rights of workers. We now bring you this live update with May Day proceedings from SABC News reporter Lutendo Boboti. Lutendo, it's great to have you on the agenda this morning. Welcome to the program. Take us through what's happening there now. We are not going to say we are celebrating Thank you so much. You know, if you do a nine to five job, you wake up every morning to go to work. You understand how important uh, this day is, the essence of this day, how pivotal uh, this this day is. I was speaking earlier uh, here with the uh, the, uh, the acting president of SAFTU, uh, who was talking about exploitation at work earlier. In in, in my earlier crossing, I talked to, I talked about exploitation in various industries, especially uh, in in plastic industries, farming industry, pharmaceutical industry. And she spoke, she spoke particularly about exploitation at farms. I told you um, that uh, we, we did a, a whole lot of stories, countless stories about exploitation, especially in farms. Not just exploitation in farms, but exploitation of particularly women. I think the key theme of this particular uh, event here is exploitation of uh, uh, women uh, at, at work because um, they, they, that mo most of them are talking about exploitation of women and also um, lack of women in key positions, especially uh, in corporations and, and also uh, in government, which is why now I'm going to bring uh, Mr. Solimalima from uh, National Union of Public Service and Allied Workers, uh, who's joining me now uh, to talk about uh, some of the challenges that uh, uh, they face, especially uh, in, in public works. Uh, Mr. Malema, thank you so much for your time. Um, I, I hear here the key message uh, is lack of women in key position in, 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 in public service. Talk to us about it. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, firstly, let me salute our members. Uh, uh, for being with us uh, as, as Nupso we were having challenges in the public health and social development uh, social I mean bargaining council we are happy to <coughs> announce that we are now back and uh, we are back to unite the working class we are not going back to ridicule those who participated in uh, removing us from the cancer but we are going back to make sure that uh, we do everything in our power so that uh, uh, we improve the working conditions of the workers uh, in that particular sector, especially in the public service. So coming back uh, to the issue of uh, women in leadership, I mean, uh, it is uh, incontrovertible that without women in leadership, uh, we will be plunged into a crisis. And uh, it is high time that uh, women are given uh, 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 they are given uh, uh, opportunities to lead uh, so that uh, we can grow colossal uh, movements and uh, we know that the women are caring. Mm. So that's why we are encouraging that uh, let's give women uh, opportunity to, to lead us. Okay. And, and in public service recently the increment of salaries has, has been particularly unimpressive. Um, what, what do you say about it? Look, uh, that is a crisis uh, because, uh, I mean, the, the, the issue of the austerity, which uh, will be a center of discussions, it is a center of discussions in all our meetings. Recently, in Ogodongwana, in his budget speech, he gave the bosses a uh, 1% increase. Instead of uh, paying the poor, taking the money to the poor, but they decided to give corporate more money and the judiciary as well is, is problematic because uh, the, you, you are aware of the Concord judgment where they rubber stamped uh, 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 the uh, government uh, reneging from uh, uh, implementing the last leg of the wage agreement which is, is, is a problem and the only way uh, we can break this chain because judiciary is captured is for workers to unite and go to the street. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for Thanks. your time. Right. Well, thank you so much. As you can see, 
uh, at the attendance here is quite impressive. It's a whole lot of people. When we came here, uh, we saw a long winding queue of people um, uh, wanting to enter this this particular hall. As you can see, this it's, it's a sign and symbol of an epitome uh, of unity right here. Colis. All right, Ludendo, thank you so very much indeed. We will be catching up with you a little bit.